Hey guys, welcome to Sippin' and Spillin' with Sid from Three Mississippi. I'm just leaving the voting booth because today was our primary day here in Mississippi. And I uh, got my little sticker on, as one does. And uh, we have this weird, it's weird because the first time that we had an election out here since we moved, I had to like find where the voting place was because I didn't know. And it's kind of out here in the middle of nowhere-ish a bit. <laughs> and um, the, you know, on the website, you know, for, you know, Go Vote Mississippi, whatever it is. Um, that's not the name of it. I don't know what it's called. I can't remember. But anyway, uh, you know, it tells you your your thing when you put in your, your home address and, you know, where your precinct is to go vote. And... The first time I got here, I'm driving and I'm like, well, it says I'm here. And which was right about like here on the road and it was clearly not it. <laughs> and so I'm like, well, I'm going to, I know how these roads go and how the GPS, you know, how Google Maps says it's here, but it's actually like, you know, another football field that way or whatever. So that's what I did. And I ended up kind of stumbling across it, but uh, now I know where it is, so now I can get there. And that's a simple lack, because I know where it is. And that's half the battle, GI Joe. So um, I've been I've been uh, editing today. I've been working on the in the back cave on the on the computer Dora, doing doing that. Uh, as we we shot a lot. We did a, a bunch this weekend, Mike and I. With with Frankie was gone on her spring break trip with church and uh we, we were doing a lot so i had a lot of footage to sort through and we didn't do anything earth shattering but it was a lot of you know a, a lot of stuff happened um and we filmed a lot of it so uh you know it was one of those things where i'm like well i got gotta, gotta get this all separated on my computer and then i had to move a bunch of files and you know all the boring stuff that takes time that isn't actually editing or or really you know doing anything it's more of the uh you know the getting ready to do <laughs> stuff on the computer so uh i did some of that and then i actually was able to start editing and i'm, I'm probably about a third of the way into it right now and eh, maybe a little more than that but uh but i gotta go back and finish that spend a couple a couple more hours editing before we've got a meeting at church tonight and then uh, I tried to see if Mike could go with me to go vote just now while I was headed over there. Um, but he was too busy at work and he's like, I can't step away. I was like, so it's only going to be literally it's going to take us like 15 minutes to like drive down there, walk in, vote and bail. And uh, he's like, I can't go right now. So we'll see if he if he can squeeze in there before the polls close and before we have our church meeting. I don't know. Hopefully he can. Um, but at least, at least I made it down there. I was my, you know, I, I'm real big on that. There's only one time since I turned 18 that I didn't vote. And it was because I, I had, I had just moved at the time. And this was before, I mean, the internet existed, but it was in its infancy stages. And so, you know, it was the days of MapQuest and printing out your directions. And so I was in a new area that I didn't know, and I was driving around trying to find my polling place, and I must have driven around for almost an hour, couldn't find it, and I had to get to work. And I just, so I gave up and finally just went to work, and uh, I, didn't, I didn't go. And I remember it was, I don't, I don't remember what year it was. It had to have been, this would have been 20 years ago, roughly because I remember it was in my first apartment, so I would have been 21. Um, but it was the year that Arnold Schwarzenegger was running for governor. I do remember that because I was like, you know, everybody was really excited that, you know, the Terminator was running for governor. Um, he didn't turn out to be as great as we had hoped he was <laughs> gonna be for California. But he wasn't as bad as he could have been or as bad as some of his predecessors or successors have been. So 
in hindsight, he was, I guess, not as bad as he could have been. But, anywho, um, he's sort of a, I mean, he's, he ran as a Republican, and he did some things that were Republican-y-ish, but he definitely was more of a left-leaning Republican, I guess. I don't know. He had his own, I guess he was in his own genre. I don't know. <laughs> but, uh, but, but anyway, I didn't get to vote for, I didn't get to vote for the, for, you know, the Terminator because I couldn't find the polling place, but that was the only time I've not voted. And then after that I did, um, I had talked to my, my grandfather was still living back then. And I talked to him about it and he was like, honey, do the absentee ballot and bring it to the polling places or, or send it through the, this was back when the, that was not as common and we don't have all the hoopla about it like we do now and it was a little more reliable or at least we thought so um because people that couldn't get out to the polling places that's what they would do and he's like just do that he's like you're you know you're too busy with your jobs and whatever to try to get there and you know whatever because a lot of times you know my polling place obviously would be by where I lived but I was so busy my jobs and everything were not where I lived and so and it was really hard to just squeeze all that in I guess so uh so I did that for a long time I did by absentee ballot and just mailed it in and it was really easy because I could vote in the comfort of my home I could really read you know because California we love our measures and our and our you know proposals and whatever. So every time you have any kind of an election, there was about 47 different things that you had to read on different proposals that you had to either vote for or against. And they were always worded really like in opposite bizarro world language so that it seemed like if you voted yes, you were voting against, you were voting for it, but you were actually voting against it and vice versa. And so you really had to know what it was saying. And it was just, it's, and they still do that, I'm sure, but it was it was always a thing. So it was nice to be able to like sit in the comfort of your home and take the time to go through each thing and figure it out and write it down and do all the things. But anyway, um, I find it's a lot more streamlined here in Mississippi. And um, I think this was my third time that there's been some form of an election here since I've been here in our county. Um, I think this is my first, this is my first federal election uh since we've been here the first primary um but there was a there was a we have a we had a gubernatorial uh an election back in november and then we had uh we had some other i forget what it was it was some district court thing or something anyway but i went and voted um all those times so i think this was my third my third round being a Mississippi voter, so, um, so, yay, <laughs> but, uh, but I like to vote, I like to go out and do it, and, and hope that it does some good, or, you know, counts, or something, <laughs> who knows if it actually does or not, but I like to think, I like to think it does, I like to think it counts, and, you know, it's the primary, so it's, you know, doesn't really do much, but it's something. So we'll see. Um, you know, we do have, you know, Mississippi is a little bit purpley uh, because we have Jackson and Jackson and I guess maybe Biloxi a little bit too, although I'm not sure about that, so don't quote me, but uh, are definitely more um, blue leaning, I guess. Not to get political on you guys today, but it's voting day, so it's on my mind. But um, so that kind of turns things a little bit because it's a densely populated area, whereas here, this is a lot more spread out and sparse and, um, you know, probably more right leaning, higher percentage of it anyway. Um, so, you know, but our county for sure is. And so when it's a county thing or when it's a local election, it's always, you know, generally goes that way goes more to the right, um, which, not going to lie, that's definitely one of the reasons why we, uh, why we were like, yeah, this is a good spot. 
<laughs> you know, uh, after living under the regime for so long on the left coast, um, it's a nice breath of fresh air to be somewhere where not everything is uh, tracked or counted or uh, taxed to death or, you know, all of the above. So it is what it is. But she go a little fast on this barely a two-lane road back here. But hey, whatever. So, anyway, guys, uh, I hope you all are having... Oh, there's a fire over there. That's a big fire. All right. Well, I'm going to have to go investigate. Um, I hope you all are having a blessed day. Don't forget to stop by tonight. We are, of course, going live on 3 Mississippi at 6 o'clock Central Standard Time. So we hope to see you there right after Mama V and right before Simple Life Reclaimed. Come by and say hi and hang out and sit a spell. Anyway, love you guys. And we will see you tonight. And until next time, safety's off. <laughs>